In this video, I'm going to show you the stop at Play Cursor, Preference, and Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a video, some narration, some music, and some sound effects. And as I'm working through it, typically in Reaper, the spacebar or play and stop is going to behave like this. If we hit it, a staple. it plays our tracks. Superhero mythology is and if we hit stop, superhero. it puts the cursor back at the beginning, which is usually helpful for working with music. But when dealing with a project like this, with video or narration, typically I want a different behavior. When I hit stop, I want the cursor to stop right at that point. So we can work through the song, stopping and starting in each section, which is typically how you'd work with a tape machine. And before the newest version of Reaper, this wasn't very easy to do. But now it is with a new action. Let's take a look. We'll go up here to the Actions menu and choose Show Action List. And we'll type in to the filter, Transport Play. And right over here, we'll see the default action that'll be triggered by the spacebar, which is play and stop that's toggled based on the state you're in. In other words, if you're playing, it'll stop, and if you stopped, it'll play. But now there's a new action right here. Play stop, but move the edit cursor on stop, based on where the edit cursor is. So we could change our spacebar to this action. Just go over here to add, go to special key, because the spacebar is a special key, hit the spacebar, and we'll change it to be triggered by that keyboard shortcut. And that's going to replace the old play stop from before. As we can see now, it's only going to work with this action. But now, if we hit the spacebar, it plays our track. Superhero mythology is there's the superhero. But if we hit stop, it stops in the place where we stopped it, where the edit cursor was. So we play it again, it restarts from that point. Again, similar to a tape machine or how a video editor works. Hit play. Spider-Man is actually Peter. Hit stop, and it stops right there. Ready to play from that point again. Of course, we can still put the cursor back at the beginning and start over, but when we hit stop, it's gonna stop at that point and restart from the position we stopped in. Of the superhero mythology is there's the superhero and there's the old ego. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. Very useful for projects like this. And we don't want this behavior. We can just switch it back right here. Play stop. Hit the space bar. Replace it. And now it's going to work the previous way. Hit play. Hit stop. It goes back to the beginning. Or we started playback from. A staple. Now one of the benefits of having this as a separate action is we can add a different keyboard shortcut to each. So let's leave the space bar on this one, the default. Let's put a different keyboard shortcut on the move edit cursor on stop action. I'm going to choose control space bar. Shows up here. And it doesn't replace the old one. So now we have both actions we could trigger. So if I want the typical default behavior, just hit the space bar, hit it again, and it starts from the beginning again. Or if I want the other behavior that's similar to a tape machine or video editor, just hit control space, hit it again to stop, and now it stops at that point. So I could work through my song or narration or voiceover of the superhero mythology in a more typical way, as you want to work through the song without going back to the start point each time. Is there's the superhero and there's the old ego. And we always have the benefit of just using the space bar. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. To go back to that same point. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Or hit the other keyboard shortcut. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. To stop at that point. It's also very useful when a producer 
or the artist asks you to stop the song at that point. If you hit the space bar, it's going to go back to the beginning. A staple. But now we could use the other keyboard shortcut to stop at that point without having to pause our song. A staple of the superhero mythology. As it just stops at the point where we stopped it. So that's pretty much it. That's the stop at Play Cursor, Preference, and Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.